this one. This is right renal artery in transfer section. Follow it and it will enter the hilum of the right kidney. This is the right kidney in transfer section and here you see the artery entering the, uh, leaving the hilum of the right kidney. And anterior to it you see the right renal vein. This is the right renal vein and entering the right kidney. This area you see is the transverse of the right kidney. With This is the renal vein, this is the renal artery. So, <coughs> see the kidney, see it in magnification and note the, all the findings that I described to you initially in this segment, that is the cortical echogenicity. This is the cortex, the prominence of the pyramids and the loss of central sinus complex. So this is regarding the right kidney. Okay. Now let's see the left kidney as well. This is the Pasamerial lobe. I'm asking the patient to turn to the right tetrodicubitus posterior, and here we see the kidney with same findings as we saw in the right kidney that concentrate upon the cortex. Its echogenesis is much raised, the prominence of the pyramids significantly prominent pyramids node, central sinus echocomplex is seen and uh, this kidney shows bilateral renal parenchymal changes and the measurements are in longitudinal section 7.3 centimeters into 3.3 centimeters which is within normal. Now this is the measurement of the cortex 5.1 which is normal and uh, uh, cortex and medulla combined together measure 12.2 which is within normal as I you know cortex and medulla combined together becomes the parenchyma. No central sinus echocomplex seen. Echogenicity of the cortex is globally raised. The capsule is intact. So this kidney shows, both kidneys shows parenchymal changes. And with now subcostally look at the my scanning angle. I am at the I am scanning from the mid subcostal region, angling the probe cephaloid towards the patient clavicle and I see this picture in which this is the river. This is the fluid this is all fluid, the black area you are seeing is the fluid and this fluid is in the pleural cavity and this ecogenic area you are seeing within the fluid is the, is in fact a pleural effusion and the ecogenic area is the lung tissue floating in the Fluid. Now, from the other angle, if I see from this angle, again, now I can see fluid in the pleural space. 
This is the fluid. This is the fluid in the pleural space, and the echogenic areas are the lung tissue within the pleural fluid, with this being the liver. And this view was taken from the eleventh intercostal space. From the eleventh intercostal space, angling the probe laterally and medially, both. And in doing so, you see fluid not only in the pleural cavity, but one sees. Now this is the angle from where. I got that view. And if I go up and downwards and magnify, I can see fluid around the liver as well. This is the liver outer surface which is smooth. This is the parenchyma of the liver which is uh, has normal ecogenicity and this is the fluid surrounding the anterior surface of the liver so here we see mi minimal to moderate rather moderate amount of the European which is clear in consistency as well as a cytic fluid surrounding the normal liver